Hi guys, in this lesson, I'm covering word problem for matrices. Guys, kuch bachcho ko ek phobia hota hai ki word problem itna bada questions dekhna aur blank ho jana. But trust me, if you see matrices ka word problem, it's only basic multiplication. That's it. Usse zyada mushkil nahi hai. So here we go. Mark and Luke spent three days training for a cycling event. Mark cycled at an average speed of 24 and first two days and 26 on the last day. This is the Luke's average speed. Pata. They each cycled for first one hour on the first day and increased their cycling time by one and a half hour by half hour each day. The MT value will be what? 0.5. And the n value will be what? 2. Do you get this? Now I need to multiply this. Let's multiply. Half hour add karo 1 minute. That's why it's 1.5. Then again add half hour. That's why it's 2. So 24, 25, 24, 24, 26, 27. And I'm going to multiply by what? 1, 1 1.5 and 2. Okay. So now, check the order of this. The order of this is 2, 3. And here, the order is 3 by 1. Is the column of the first matrix and the rows of the second matrix is same? Yes. In that case, make a smiley face. What do I mean by smiley face? This means the order of the answer matrix. Now let's apply French type. 24 into 1. Right guys? Plus, abhi dive complete me. 24 into 1.5. Plus 26 into 2. Right? Now let's apply the second one. 25 into 1. Plus 24 into 1.5 plus 27 into 2. So now my answer will be 24 plus 24 into 1.5 is what? 36 plus 26 into 2 is what? 52. Then 25 plus 36 plus 27 into 2 makes what? 54. Now let's add this. Let's add this. 24 plus 36 plus 52. That's 112. And the next one, 25 plus 36 plus 54. That's 115. That's my answer. Difference is dash and this number represent. Difference between the numbers in matrix P and Q explain what this number represents. So 115 minus 112. What's the difference but chips 3? And what does this represent? So we know the speed. We know the time. Distance ka kya formula hota Speed into time. The number represents the distance. Do you get this? Let's do one more. Here, a shop sells bunches of flour. This means three roses and four this and five this. Is he tell us the shop bunch or is he cause but I? Okay, let me give you an example. Let's suppose karo eight pen hai, does dollar and you buy five. Kya ho jayega? Five into ten, you are paying fifty. Is he tell we know the cost of each flower? And we know the number of each flower. If you are multiplying, this is going to give you the selling price. That's it. So let's multiply. What's the order of this met? 2 by 3 and 3 by 1. Is multiplication possible? Yes. My, then make a smiley face. What does smiley face mean? That my answer will come in which order? 2 by 1. So let's apply French type. 3 into 60 
अभी डाइव कंप्लीट नहीं हुई जब तक डाइव कंप्लीट नहीं हो तब तक आठ फोर इंटू फोर्टी प्लस फाइव इंटू थर्टी कॉट दिस देन द नेक्स्ट वन सिक्स इंटू सिक्स इंटू सिक्सटी राइट प्लस फोर इंटू फोर्टी प्लस जीरो इंटू थर्टी सो माई आंसर विल बी फोर नाइन्टी एंड हेयर इट्स गोइंग टू बी फाइव ट्वेंटी डू यू गेट दिस एक्सप्लेन वॉट द नंबर इन योर आंसर रिप्रेज नंबर रिप्रेजेंट द सेलिंग प्राइस आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद वर्ड प्रॉब्लम Now let's move to determinant and inverse. The determinant of the matrix formula is what A D minus B C. This is considered A. This is B. This is C, and this is. The examiner will tell you to write determinant of A. Let's suppose A ka matrix. Ya determinant ke liye write this. Ya he write this one. In case of vector magnitude. He writes this, and in case of matrices determinant, he writes this. Let me show you one example. This is the past paper question in which it says find this. It means मुझे क्या find करना है determinant, and its formula is what A D minus B C. Let's multiply. This is A. This is D. So two into minus one minus what's B C? This is B, and this is C. Zero into minus three, so my answer will be negative two. Do you get this? Then comes how to find inverse of the matrix. So the matrix is given to me A B C D. Its inverse is one upon determinant. That's what A D minus B C. Then you switch the places of A D. So A D will become D. And you change the signs of B C. If it's minus, then it's plus. If it's plus, then it's minus. Let's practice few questions. Here, it says find determinant. How will I find determinant? A D A is five, D is one. Five ones are minus B C. Two into minus one. That makes five plus two seven. Do you get this? How will you write down the inverse? One upon determinant. That's what I did. It's one upon determinant. A D ki jaga change and B C ki sign change. Now listen. Ye matrix hota. Aaj jo apply karte. A D ki jaga change karna. So five and one hai. So ye one, ye five got this. And B C ki sign change kar do. Plus two will become minus two, and minus one will become plus one. Agar question ne. खाली आपसे इनवर्स मांगा है यू कैन लीव योर आंसर एट दिस पॉइंट बट इफ यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई इनवर्स फर्दर आगे सो यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई वन इंटू वन अपॉन सेवन मेक्स वॉट वन अपॉन सेवन वन इंटू वन अपॉन सेवन मेक्स वॉट वन अपॉन सेवन माइनस टू इंटू वन अपॉन सेवन मेक्स वॉट माइनस टू अपॉन सेवन एंड फाइव पॉइंट बोथ आंसर आर करेक्ट This is mandatory. अगर आपको आगे सॉल्व करना है बट अगर खाली इन वर्ड्स मांग रहा है I can leave it here. Now let's do this one. Determinant you are told is what टू So A D थ्री into minus वन is minus थ्री minus B C will be बच्चे आपका minus टू पी इज इक्वल टू माई आंसर इज टू माइनस थ्री प्लस टू पी इज इक्वल टू टू 2p is equal to 5. My value of p is what? 2.5. Do you get this? How do you get the inverse? How do you get the inverse? One upon determinant, which I know is what? 2. Ad ki jaga change from minus 1 and 3 in ki jaga change. Bc ki sign change. Minus 2 will become plus 2. And B will become minus two point five. Do you get this? Let's do one more. 
how do you find out the inverse? 1 upon determinant. What's the determinant formula? AD. Half into 1. Minus DC. 0 into 1. Then change AD key place and DC key sign. Got this? So it's going to become half divided by 1 upon 2 and this. Right, bacho? 1 divided by half. Kya hota hai, It's 2. Sir, how? By this. 1 divided by 1 upon 2 will become 2 upon 1. That's 2. You get this. So, I hope you are clear with determinant and inverse. One point I'll add here. Singular matrix. Guys, singular matrix ka determinant kya hota hai? Zero. Determinant kya hota hai? Zero. Examiners ke upar shayad aisa sawal de de. Let's suppose A6 minus 1 and 2. And you are told find A. Find A if matrix is singular. So just bachche ko singular matrix nahi pata hoga, he'll go black. But if you know what singular matrix, that's what? Jiska determinant 0. Let's apply the determinant formula AD minus DC is equal to 0. So 6A plus 2 when it's shifted on the other side will it become minus 2? Then A is what? But she aapka minus 2 upon 6 that's minus 1 upon 3. So word problem is clear. Determine inverse and determinant is clear and singular matrix is there. Now come identity matrix. Do baate yaad rakh. Many baat identity matrix denote kisse hota hai? I shift. Kisse denote hota hai? I shift. What is it? 1, 0, 0 and 1. If you multiply any matrix by identity matrix, the answer will stay the same. That's a rule. Agar kuch bhi matrix identity matrix se multiply hoga, answer kya hoga? Same. One more thing. Inverse, ya koi bhi matrix or iska inverse jab multiply hoga, that's what? Identity matrix. So guys, let's begin. Question of one ma. Kuch bachche, isme pehle A ka inverse find karte, then multiply karte. Do you think it's worth it for one ma? Pehle inverse joonna, then multiply karna. No, it's not. You need to know the rule. A inverse into A or a A inverse is identity matrix. So you'll just write this. I'll see this question. C C inverse into B. Guys, eight mark ka sawal. So instead of C C inverse, can I write this identity matrix and multiply by B? Do you get this? So the first rule of identity matrix is this. Then dusra rule mein identity matrix hai kya bataya? Anything multiplied by an identity matrix, the answer stays the same. Got this? Let's practice this. A, Y is equal to 1, 0, 0. Matlab, Y kya ho ga bachi? I get identity matrix. So, Y should be A inverse. Because A ke under jab A inverse dalte, that's what? Identity matrix. So let's find A inverse. 1 upon determinant. AD ko multiply karte determinant. 4 into 0 is 0. Minus DC. So that makes 1 upon 2. AD ki jara change and BC ki sign change. So that's my Y ka matrix. Got this? Now comes this last question of identity matrix. I'm supposed to find B. Plus 3i is equal to A. So can I say that A minus 3i? A ka matrix me jadiya. Kuch bachche e question is vajah se chhod denge ki sir, I ka matrix to nahi diya ho. But you should know that I is what? Identity matrix. That's what. 1, 0, 0, 1. So my answer will be 1 minus 2, 0, 4 minus 3, 1 is 3. 
three zeros as zero, zero and three. So let's subtract one minus three is minus two, zero minus two and one. Do you get this? Now one last thing which I need to tell you. Ax is equal to B Rika. Guys, if we X do A will go on the other side, right? But you need to know one rule. Agar A aapka X se pehle rikha hai, to yaha pe A inverse bhi X se pehle aega. Agar A aapka baad mein rikha wa hota, to A inverse bhi baad mein aega. Please understand this. Got this? Now let's find A ka inverse. How do you find inverse? 1 upon determinant A into D. That's 6, 3 to the minus BC. 1 into minus 1. That's minus 1. So 1 upon 7. AD ki jaga change. See, it was 3 to kya ban gaya bachche aapka? 2, 3. And BC ki sign change. Plus 1 minus ban gaya. Minus 1 plus ban gaya. Ab yaha pe the entire same thing is there but k missing. So what's k? 1 upon 7. Do you get this bacho? Ab masla is ke last part. Mujhe y dhoon hai. So y is equal to pata kya hoga 6 and 2. Notice karo e y ki baad likha hai pehle likha hai. Sir baad mein. So, here A inverse baad mein And what was the answer of A inverse? I can't use this as my answer now. Because I have to inverse ko aage multiply ka. So, kya ho jayega bache? Upon 7. 1 upon 7. Minus 1 upon 7. And 3 upon 7. Let's apply French type. So, 6 into 2 upon 7 makes what? 12 upon 7. A big dive complete. Anyway, 2 into 1 upon 7 makes what? 2 upon 7. Now, let's do it again. 6 into minus 1 upon 7 minus 6 upon 7. And 2 into 3 upon 7. That makes plus 6 upon 7. We the answer chart. 14 upon 7 and 0. That's what? 0. Got this guys. In next lesson, I'll be solving few challenging questions.